think that the, uh, there's no doubt that the most effective way to maintain and build muscle is through exercise. Uh, that being said, most people don't exercise, and even if you do exercise, the nutritional aspect that's the most important is not only the amount of protein, but the quality of protein that you eat. There's quite a bit of confusion about what the daily recommendations are. The, uh, both the uh, World Health Organization and the uh, United States um, Food and Nutrition Board have uh, recommended a dietary allowance of 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram per day, but that figure is not the optimal level of protein intake. The optimal recommendations, for example, that the USDA uh, uses in the food pyramid, or now the food pie, is closer to 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram per day, which is almost double what the RDA is. So the recommendations vary a great deal as to what should actually be eaten, but probably the most effective guideline is as a percent of total calories, because as your size changes, the total calories you eat change, and the optimal range there is recommended between 10, 15 to 20 percent according to the, uh, ex the acceptable macronutrient de uh, distribution range which is also published by the same group that's published the um, RDA. So that the RDA represents we could think of as a minimal value but which is about 10 percent of your caloric intake but a more effective caloric intake would be between t uh, 15 to 20 percent of your calories as protein. The more recent um, guidelines, which is called the DIAS, or Digestible Indispensable Amino Acid Score, does not truncate the scores, but uh, predicates the scores on the percent of the essential amino acids delivered by that protein should you eat the dietary requirement of that protein. And those range clear up into over 150%, meaning that you would get 150% of your requirements of all the essential amino acids if you ate the dietary requirement of that particular protein. The high quality proteins, which scores over 100, are almost entirely the animal proteins. The uh, milk proteins are right at the very top, but um, beef and all the meat proteins are also uh, far superior in terms of the diet scores to most of the vegetable proteins, soy being the highest, which is still at the lower end of the, what would be called the high quality protein. But uh, at the same time, we have to look beyond just the score to the caloric, um, uh, uh, the caloric intake of every food that's associated with the intake of that amount of protein. So the new uh, direction that these recommendations will be heading is not only in terms of the quality of protein evaluated as a pure protein, but also the caloric density of the uh, food containing that protein that's required or that comes along with the ingestion of enough protein to meet your requirements.